everybody. Um, today I'm going to show you how to paint the car out of spray can like I promised. First things you're going to need is a roll of paper so you can tape, your w or tape over the windows and not get overspray. Then you will need some tape, obviously. <laughs> it's about $3, I think. $3 for three rolls or $4. I'm not too sure. He's looking at the receipt. Um, we have a sand uh, orbital sander, so we can actually just sand it real quick. We got a 120 grit because that's the highest they had at Walmart. You'll need a mask, obviously, unless you want to be brave and risk your lungs, then go for it. Rust-Oleum is what I use. This is a metallic aluminum. It's the closest I get to metal flake, silver metal flake. It's got double the coverage, so it actually covers better and faster. And we're going to tape the car off, and we'll speed the video up so you can see the process of how we tape it off, and we'll go from there. And, yeah, I'll get this going. I also forgot to mention you're going to need a well ventilated, ventilated uh, area. Um, you can use a fan, blow it out the door. In this case we have one up at the attic and I'll show you that. See how the fan is uh, blowing the fumes up through the attic? And above there there's a vent that leads outside so make sure that's like that and use your mask. I forgot to put mine on. I know. I'm a bad, bad kid. But I'm going to use it when painting because that's really important. Same with sanding. When you're sanding, all that um, sanding dust could. It depends if they were idiots enough and painted their car with lead-based paint, which I doubt. But you could get lead poisoning and so on. But now that it's prepped, we're going to shoot the door and then the bumper, which you can't see the bumper from here. But we're going to shoot that and then... I don't know if I'm just going to replace this fender with the other one I have or paint this one, but I'll get that process going for you. turned out pretty good. I'll show you with the camera so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so in this next clip, um, the camera cut off a lot during this video process, but in this next couple clips, 
Um, it's us prepping the roof for paint. We paint the roof. Make sure to use an acetone or non-oil based lacquer thinner to prep the surface. They actually sell a wax grease remover at AutoZone. You could probably get that at Riley's AutoZone, Advanced Auto Parts, whatever's nearest you. Um, but in this next couple clips you'll see pep prepping the roof and all that good stuff. And yeah, just keep watching I guess.
give a special thanks to Jeff. Um, thanks for saving me and getting me a garage. Um, thanks for all the help from everybody. Um, Casey, Shayla, Vanessa, Corey, even though you just men sat on your butt and kept us company. That's okay, though. Um, thanks for all the help, guys. Help taping off and pulling tape off and just kind of getting me that much farther. Um, I know this is just the primer, but the primer is pretty important for a decent foundation for painting. So you gotta shoot it with the primer, go over it with like 220 or 3, 320 grit sandpaper. Just kind of smooth it, like sand it down to where it's kind of like a fine powder as long as it's smooth. And then after that, you'll go through and spray it with the gloss. The, I call it the glossifier, but it's it's a glossy silver flake and that'll put the shine in it and then after that you clear coat it while it's still tacky you don't wait till it's fully dried because that doesn't I don't know for some reason it doesn't work right with spray can now with normal paint it's a totally different story but this is spray can we're talking about it's not gonna be the best paint job in the world it is spray can you can make spray can look like a spray gun job if you're really good I've known a few people to do this I personally haven't spent that much money and time on doing this, so as you can as you can tell. You can buff out clear coat spray painted paint jobs and it, it works awesome. But I just want to give a shout out, thanks to everyone that helped. I'm not used to having help, so it really helped out a big time. Like you don't even know how much I appreciate it. But thanks for watching my videos everybody. Like and subscribe below. If you're on Facebook, drop a comment. Keep the hate to yourself. I don't want to hear that crap. Just saying. But, well, I guess um, I'll have a step two video coming out really, shoot, really soon. Because um, this is step one. Step two is putting the gloss or the glossy paint on it. Step three, I don't know if I will clear coat it. Mainly just because this is going to be kind of temporary. Until I get the rust fixed, then it's going to get all sanded. The fenders, everything's going to get replaced that can. I'm getting a new bumper and that replacement fender put on ASAP. I might have a how-to video on how to install the fender. Just a possibility. If you think that's a good idea, let me know below. Um, I am going to have a how-to install blinker turn signal switch because that was bad on mine. So I put a new one in, but I'm just going to repeat the process so you guys can see how to do it. And I'll get some more how-to videos up, so like and subscribe, tell your friends how much of a D-bag I am. <laughs> I hope you got that pun. James D guy stands for James D series guy, not anything else, so keep that stupid shit to yourself. Um, yeah, like and subscribe guys. Great having YouTube YouTubers like you guys just watching my videos. The more you watch, the more I post, so keep it up over 800 subscribers so thanks for everything guys hope you enjoy the video